Hi guys, it's Kelsey and Kendra. And today Kelsey and I are going to be doing our huge Sephora VIB sale haul. It's going to be the spring one. And Kelsey and I did a recommendations video for you guys last week and we told you that we'll be having a huge haul this week. So get comfortable. It's going to be super long. Hopefully you have a snack, some tea, something to drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And by the way, today is the last day of the sale. Today is the 6th. So if you haven't shopped the VIB sale yet, then you might want to go ahead and get on that. Rouge has 20% off and then I think the actual regular VIB has 15 and then Insider is 10% off. So mm -hmm. 2015 10. So yeah, you might want to go ahead and get on that before the end of the day. Okay, so first we're going to be starting out with skincare. That's always a big part of our hauls just because it's so expensive and we like trying out new skincare products. So yeah, I'm just going to start with cleansers and the first one I wanted to try was this product from Boshia, Boschia. I think it's Boschia. Boschia, that's the brand. And it's their Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I heard a lot of good things about this cleansing oil, especially for people with oily skin like I have. And I saw the word cool and I thought for summer that would be like the perfect kind of cleansing oil to have because I like that cooling, refreshing feeling when you're cleansing your face. And I'm a huge fan of cleansing oils. If you guys have not got on to cleansing oils before actually washing your face with a cleanser, you need to because you're leaving so much dirt on your face. And so, makeup. And makeup. So I don't see how people don't double cleanse. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend a cleansing oil, but I can't wait to try this one. And also this does say that it is for all skin types and it's 100% vegan and it's cruelty free and preservative free. So if you have any kind of sensitive skin like Kelsey does, this would probably be really helpful. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's just a nice green cleansing oil. So I can't wait to try it and I'll keep you guys posted on this one. And the second cleansing oil that I got is from the brand Dermalogica. This was in mine and Kelsey's recommendations video last week and this was Kelsey's recommendation and I decided to get another one. I have tried this before. This is their pre-cleanse. I love this cleansing oil. Super, super good for any skin type. I love the way it smells. It has like a really nice lavender calming scent. So it's really good for nighttime. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just like a perfect go-to all around cleansing oil. Okay, so the only cleansing product that I have to share with you guys are some wipes. And the only reason I got these is to use after the gym, after we work out, because it's not good to leave like all the sweat on your face after you work out because it can clog your pores. So I just got these Ole Henriksen Stay Balanced Oil Control Cleansing Cloths. And they have aloe juice, glycolic, and lactic acids in them. And they're really, really good for removing dirt and makeup off of your face as well as exfoli exfoliating. But I don't need them to remove makeup. I just need them to like cleanse my face after I work out because we don't work out in makeup. No. So yeah, I just got these for that reason. And then the next thing that I got is a essence. And I haven't had an essence in my skincare routine in quite some time. Just because the last one that I tried, I really didn't see a big difference. It was the SK2 one. I feel like a lot of people rave about that one and I really didn't see that big of a difference. Um, I used to use the Boschkia Skin Burning one. That one was really nice. But I didn't see a huge difference. It was just like a subtle difference. But I've been seeing so many good reviews on this one from Amore Pacific. This is their Vintage Single Extract Essence. And it has pure green tea in it. And green tea is a great antioxidant. It's just really good for your skin. Some people even put like actual green tea on their face. I've seen people do masks with the um, actual green tea. And this is just how the bottle looks. It looks like sweet tea. Like the so color. It does have green tea in it then. Because um, green tea is darker. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, and it's like a really nice glass packaging. This was not cheap. So I expected the bottle to be a little bit bigger. But that's okay because I guess you're not supposed to use too much. You just put a little in your hand. Clap, clap, pat, pat. Mm -hmm. That's how you apply an essence. So I'm excited to reincorporate an essence in my routine, but I just hope I actually see a difference because at one point I wasn't using toner and I was just using an, e using an essence, but now I'm using toner and I'm going to be using an essence. So maybe I'll see an even bigger difference. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. And I also got a few products from the Amore specific brand. Pacific brand. I keep saying it wrong. Amore, <laughs> Amore Pacific. Pacific. Yeah. And the first product that I wanted to try was their treatment cleansing foam. It's just a cleanser that I read that was really good for oily, blemish prone skin. That's what it said on Sephora. Yeah, I really so like I it. was like, oh, that sounds like it's right up my alley. You mm -hmm. have a mini one in this. Yeah, I travel with the little mini one. Uh, so I just thought it would be like a nice simple cleanser to try. Like Kelsey, I do switch up my cleansers quite often just because I go through them uh, pretty fast because I wash my face a lot especially when I'm wearing makeup like I don't start my skincare routine until all the dirt is gone 
Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I'm kind of nuts when it comes to cleansing. Me because too. That's yeah. the number one thing that has broken me out when I don't properly cleanse my face. So I can't wait to try this one. It does say cleansing foam, but it doesn't feel like a foam because I have a cleansing foam right now. It foams that's you. literally like liquidy and it is like a foam pump. It foams when you add the water. Oh, like okay. On your face to get gotcha. kind of foamy. So yeah. Yeah, because right now it's looking like a cream situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we shall see. And then the next product I got is an exfoliator. This is the Amore Specific Treatment Enzyme Peel cleansing powder and it says the original enzyme exfoliator sweeps away dead skin cells and refines the look of pores for smoother skin. I'm a huge fan of chemical exfoliation even though this is technically a physical exfoliant to me because it comes out in like a little powder if you guys have seen the the dermalogical, uh, the dermalogical one, one yeah, is it called one. the micro something daily, daily microfoliant yeah the microfoliant yeah I, I mentioned that like in our that. winter essentials so this one is the same kind of concept concept where it's a powder form and oh, cool. you like pour it into your hand and then I think you probably like drizzle a little water, rub it in and then kind of go in on your face with it. Hmm. And I love chemical exfoliants because they're not as abrasive. It's like a like grainy physical exfoliant with beads in it. So I do prefer something with enzymes in it or like a gel uh, exfoliant or a lactic acid which I use currently in my skincare routine. Uh, so yeah, I think those are more effective for my skin type. And I heard that some like bead exfoliants can damage your skin. The epidermis. Uh, like the epidermis Little of your skin. Little micro tears. Yes. Yeah. Like the St. Ives one. Like don't use that on your face. Like please. If you use that currently, please, please don't use it. It's damaging your skin underneath. And I also wanted to try the essence that Kelsey just spoke about. Um, the Vintage Single Extract Essence, like she said, has amazing reviews on Sephora. Yeah, I was like, let me just try this. And I was like, if it's this pricey and people are willing to buy it, it must be worth something. It must be doing <laughs> something and making yeah. some kind of a difference. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I need to get on this. And it says prebiotics, which I heard were really good for the skin. So Yeah, because I, I use a probiotic cleanser. But I never heard yeah, of and prebiotics. And I take a probiotic. <laughs> so I don't know. We shall see. Kelsey already showed y'all like the bottle. Really nice glass packaging. Yeah. But if you guys are not sure what an essence is supposed to do. It's supposed to enhance the efficacy of the rest of your skincare routine. routine yeah. So all your serums and moisturizers that you use is supposed to make those work better. Mm -hmm. So that's the point of an essence. And it's like a Korean product. Like a Korean beauty is very into the essence you know mm -hmm. so i'm like i need to get on that and all their skin looks nice and plump yes. and clear so so i was like if they use it then i'll use it yeah and speaking of essences i also got one more essence that i've been wanting to try for quite a while but i always kind of like take it out of my cart you know you know that product that you put in and keep taking out this was that for me <laughs> so this is the shiseido revitalizing essence and i could not wait to try this because this was their very first essence that they came out with within the line and it's been around for years hmm. and i can tell because they probably have not changed the packaging i'm obsessed with this packaging it's so really cool. nice asian packaging looks like it came right out of the korean spa love hmm. this so i can't wait to try they have like a really huge one this is the smaller packaging because this is very pricey this is the smaller packaging yes they have a larger one that's more expensive too but i was wow. like i haven't tried it so i need to try the smaller bottle first this is i'm gonna um, take this out of the top you just pop it out I don't know. That's so cool. Yeah, I think you just pop it out. I, I love out. this packaging. I would just sit this on my counter. Yeah, so I can't wait to try it. And I'm glad that it's in glass. Most essences should come in glass. Yeah. I heard that they are more effective and the mm -hmm. actual uh, benefits last longer inside the bottle. Hmm. If that makes sense. That's so. weird because my Bochkia one was in a plastic bottle and then the SK2 one is in glass, but I saw more of a difference with the Bochkia one. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I guess the SK2 one, people just talk it up so much and I expect it more. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Okay, so next we're just going to move on to some mask, which I probably don't need any more of, but I just got a little teensy bit of something just because it was the sale and I felt like I had to get some kind of mask because mm -hmm. um, they're I'm running out too, too so I wanted to replenish I'm not I just wanted some more so the first one I've been eyeing for a while this is by pharmacy and pharmacy is one of my favorite brands I really love their moisturizer and their their honeymoon glow um serum is really nice but I got this and this is their bright on massage activated vitamin c mask and all their products have this Inacia green envy stuff and it's supposed to be good for healing um, you guys know um, I love their honey mask, mm -hmm. the, the one that melts on your face that looks like honey. I mentioned it in our yearly favorites. It's amazing, especially if you have 
like dry skin that's like kind of inflamed is really nice but i got this one of course because it says brightening and anything that says brightening and you suffer from hyperpigmentation you're always like hmm i wonder how i wonder how this works and it looks like this and i'm guessing it goes on purple and it turns green because the packaging is like that hmm. and i read that that's why the packaging looks like that which is very interesting so i'm excited to try this um this might be a really good morning mask because it's a vitamin c mask and usually when i do mask at night like my facial routine i try not to use vitamin c mask because after that i'm probably putting on some kind of like exfoliator or lactic acid or something and you're not supposed to use it with vitamin c so this would be a good morning mask and since we're on the topic of brightening i also got another mask from fresh this is also one of my favorite brands for masks it's just so so nice they don't irritate my skin this one is the peony brightening night treatment mask and it just says it brightens an even skin tone is that new um i gotta try that one i have the rose one i love the rose one the rose one i love so nice i like the rose one when my skin is feeling like itchy and like annoyed because it's cooling got it um but i don't think this is new it didn't say new hmm. on the website but yeah it comes in a nice glass jar which i love they're just like one of my faves for masks. Mine too. See what it looks like. Because all their masks look different. I'm trying to see like the texture. Oh, it's more like a cream kind of It looks of mask. like a moisturizer almost. Huh. It looks like a moisturizer. I'm excited to try it though. It doesn't really have that much of a smell, which is nice. It kind of says the same which is thing as the uh, rose one. It says brightens and even skin tone. Even though the rose one says tones, tones. and brightens. Yeah, rose is supposed to be good for like toning. Hmm. Excited to try that. So I also have a pharmacy product to mention and it's the one Kelsey just spoke about and it's the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. Love it. I love this. I ran out of it a few months ago during the colder months but I still like to use it even in the hotter months just because my skin still gets you know really irritated sometimes and I love the warmth that you feel when you put it on like it gets kind of hot. I just feel like that makes it seem like it's working. I don't know. I just love those products that that you can feel working but i love the benefits to this because i know honey is very very good if you have acne prone skin dry mm -hmm. skin yes. it just has so many good benefits so i can't wait to start back using this because i was missing it when i ran out and this is what the packaging looks like they have the cutest packaging i love that it looks like it came straight from a farm hence the name pharmacy <laughs> i just love like the whole theme and like their a uh, clean product so if you have sensitive skin mm -hmm. it won't you know irritate your skin i love that this mask comes with a spatula so you won't cross contaminate love everything about this product so i can't wait to start back using this okay so the next mask that i got is by dermalogica and this is their multivitamin power recovery mask and this is the age smart line so this is like the anti-aging line that they have and i've I haven't really used any masks from Dermalogica. I just really like their cleansers and their moisturizer. I love their active moist moisturizer. It's like one of my favorites. But this is how it looks. So it just says ultra replenishing mask helps rescue stress, aging skin, powerful concentrated vitamins A, C, E, F help skin recover from damage that leads to skin aging while enhancing barrier properties. Well, that sounds great. Hmm. So it's basically like a pro vitamin type mask. So it has retinol in it because vitamin A it is, is a retinol. pure form of retinol. retinol. Yeah, I'm mean, I'm not surprised it does say age smart and retinol is like the number one thing to use for anti aging. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. So I guess I'll just stick with my hydrating mask thing currently. Um, I also wanted to try this one from Kiehl's. This is their Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. So I thought this would be a really good one for summertime. And sometimes depending on what I get done, like at the Medi Spa, like if you get like a chemical pill or if you get um, any kind of lactic acid treatments that kind of are supposed to heal your skin and sometimes it can be kind of irritating during that process. These masks are really good to go for because they're cooling and mm -hmm. calming. Yeah. And I love aloe. Her aloe was like amazing for like acne prone skin, um, irritated skin redness. Mm -hmm. So I heard it's even really good for sunburn. So if you go on vacation, to like super hot places where the sun is just like crazy like the bahamas yeah like don't underestimate that heat this will be really good so i can't wait to try this oh i love that how they have it sealed i hope so um <laughs> but i'm a huge fan of aloe i just i used to use regular like aloe vera gel on my face as a mask so i'm excited to see how this one works it smell has a citrusy kind of smell it has like a citrus smell oh it's nice 
It smells is citrus. like summer. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like the perfect summer mint. It's kind of yeah. making me thirsty. I want some like lemonade or something. It has like a lemony smell. Yeah. So I can't wait to try this. Super excited about this. And then I have two more like masks in jars. They're both repurchases. I've used both of these before. This is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Profining Face Mask for detoxifying and brightening. We mentioned this in our favorite mask for acne prone skin video and. This is one of our favorites. It's excellent if you suffer from dark spots and acne. And it both. actually makes the difference. Yes. Because people think some masks don't do anything. They just look, you know, relaxing. But yeah. this actually does something. So love this. Australia Pink Clay is kind of intense. So when you put this on, it is going to like tingle and sting a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it only lasts for like 60 seconds and then it goes away. And it literally sucks all the impurities out of your face. Like a lot of people like the Glam Glow um, Clear Treatment. I like that one, but I prefer this one. Uh -huh. So ever since this one came out, I prefer this one over that one. It's just amazing. Like you have to get on Pink Clay if you have not tried it yet. It's like a game changer. And then the next one is, um, like I said, another repurchase. This is by Tata Harper. This is their clarifying mask. This says it's a complexion clearing treatment. So this is great if you have acne prone skin, but you suffer from dry skin. So this is like, gonna be less drying than the Australian pink clay one because that is kind of drying if you have dry skin. But this one is like an all-in-one. So mm -hmm. um, so when you put this on, it's gonna be very detoxifying. It's like a nice green color. I love putting this on. I feel like I'm at a spa. It's really minty. Oh, it just smells so fresh. It smells like the forest. Mm. And Tasha Harper is one of my favorite brands. Even though love like them. some of her skincare didn't really work that well for me, her best products to me are her cleansers and masks. Yes, I agree. Those are like the best that she has, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. So this one is bomb. I wish it came in a bigger jar because it's so little now that I look at it. And but her face oils are good. I haven't. I only try her try her beautifying, beautifying oil. oil, which is nice. I have both of her face oils. So hmm. yeah. Okay. But this is bomb if you have drier skin. And also when you're rinsing this off, it has little micro beads in it. But they're not like big beads. They're like super, super tiny. Like mm -hmm. you, can, you can't you can see them, but you can feel them. So if you can see beads in something, it's probably going to, you know, yeah, not going to be good for your skin. So this is kind of like exfoliating too. It is. Mm -hmm. Once you rinse it off. Yeah. And the last two masks that like are rinse off kind of masks are both in like kind of the same category. They're both like peeling lactic acid like chemical exfoliant mask which i'm a huge fan of like i mentioned this first one is from the brand ren clean skincare every time i think of the name ren i just think of even steve <laughs> that's the only other time i've heard this name. yeah i know me too but it's called the glycol lactic renewal radiance radiance renewal mask <laughs> and this has radiance underneath it so i think this is in there like uh, radiant section because some of the products have a different color on them mm -hmm. so I'm assuming the orange is for like brightening yeah probably. Um, I cannot wait to try this because I heard a lot of good things about it and I watched some videos about this product and I, I heard all good things so I can't wait to try it I know okay, Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know that it has like some like citrus in there because I know pretty much anything with citrus like grapefruit Lemon is good for brightening and mm -hmm. it's a good enzyme kind of exfoliant. Pumpkin too. Pumpkin. Like mm -hmm. more, more of the brighter fruits are really good for brightening. Yeah. But I'm excited to try this because I love products like this because they're really effective. Yeah. So if you haven't got onto any kind of like lactic acids or any kind of chemical exfoliants, you need to because they're bomb. And this next one I've seen everywhere, but I was like, I don't know if I'm going to try that because I'm kind of weird about products that are like, I don't know. They're what, Sam, cheap? This was $7. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. And I know like you can't put a price on skin. Like it's stuff that's expensive that don't work. And it's stuff that's cheaper that does work. But it's expensive stuff that I use that do work. So and it's cheap stuff that you use that, that don't work. That like broke my skin out. Exactly. So that's why I was a little afraid. Because yeah. I'm like $7. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. But this is from the brand The Ordinary. And this is the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. It says 10 minute exfoliating facial. This product... Got so many great reviews and I kept seeing so many people talk about it who had acne. Although I don't really have acne as much anymore. I have hormonal breakouts now. Now I'm just having some scarring that I'm trying to get rid of. And this I read a lot of amazing things about. Y'all know the product that looks, you know, very like 
it looks much, like blood like a blood facial kind of <laughs> um, that's what it looks like on your skin but it's this dark cranberry color i'm kind of excited to try it though so you could have tried mine we shall see i didn't even know she had this yeah until I, after, after i got it i saw i have so many masks y'all i've tried it maybe like four or five times and it's really nice so it's good i noticed a difference in how fast it dries up uh pimples like if you have a pimple that's under the surface it'll kind of dry it out faster and it also dries up like blackheads really fast so I like that as well. I haven't really noticed that he's big of a difference in brightening yet. Okay. So I'll have to keep using it to see. But as far as like pimples, it's like pretty bomb for. Especially for $7. Got it. It does sting when you put it on though. Mm -hmm. So it has some really good ingredients in it. Very active ingredients. Which is why I wanted to try it. So even though it is $7, I pay attention to ingredients. Um, yeah. I feel like Kelsey and I have learned so much about skincare over the past couple of years. When we had like this crazy like hormonal like breakout like scare i had never had acne that severely ever so like lactic acid any kind of acid has been very effective and this does and have, salicylic acid and salicylic that's what i was going to get to this yeah. has glycolic acid in it and it also has salicylic acid in it and it has aloe in it which is also really good for you for your skin so I, i'm actually excited to try it now and then lastly for masks we just have some sheet masks y'all yeah. know it wouldn't be a VIB sale haul if we didn't mention sheet masks. I, sheet masks. Um, I just picked up uh, not too many. I feel like in the past I've gotten way more. Just picked up a few because I really like the Tony and I can't remember the name of the brand. I get it from Ulta. It's the brand with all the different like lemon one and all those. I like the avocado and all yes, that. Yes, love that brand. You get it from Ulta. But I wanted to get some of my favorites and try a couple of new ones. So I just picked up more of my Boschkia Saki Brightening Bio cellulose mask this is one of my favorite sheet masks ever 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 and mainly because it helps with brightening but also because it sticks to your face like no other like the sheet it's sticks like to your face yeah it's like a gel mask because some sheet masks like slide all over the place they don't exactly. stay that well which is kind of annoying but this one it literally forms to your face so perfectly so this is excellent and then i also got another like fave of mine that I haven't used in forever. This is the Dr. Jart Brightening Infusion Mask. Um, so I've used these like so many times. This is a two-part mask, which is kind of annoying because the bottom always slide down. Mm. But other than that, it's this really, really is, good. Last time I used no. this, it was two-part. No, it's one whole mask. It's They've not been a thinking about their firming one. I haven't tried that one. Um, but this one is a two-part mask. So if you don't like those, you probably won't like this. But the results that it gives is why I keep buying this and dealing with the annoyance of the bottom sliding down. I also got a new one that I've never tried before. This is from Origins. This is their Radiance Boosting Sheet Mask. This is their Flower Fusion line. So I got the brightening one. So I'm excited to try this. Um, I only got one so I don't know how I'm going to like it. And then I got one more. This, is, this one just looked like cute to me and interesting. And plus I love using pumpkin things on my face because it's excellent for brightening this is the too cool for school pumpkin 24 karat gold mask hmm. so it just looks like a pumpkin and it just has pumpkin in it and 24 karat gold which is you know just sounded like you know luxury and i'm like okay i want to try I have it a gold mask but it's like an actual like jar mask is it from peter thomas raw no it's from ahava oh never mind this is making me miss fall the packaging low key oh no right it does it's making me miss fall it really does so all the sheet masks I have here are uh, bougie. I've tried two out of the three that I'm going to mention anyway. And these are repurchases so apparently I liked them the last time I used them. The first one is from the brand Lancer and this is their Lift and Plump Sheet Mask with Vegan Stem Cell Complex. Um, it comes with four sheets. I wish it came with at least six. But I always get these masks during the sale. I haven't bought these full price ever I don't think. I only get them during the sale because they're kind of pricey but they work i love them i actually like to use these at the beginning of the day so the serum can work like all day or i'll use them within like my night skincare routine like i feel weird rinsing it off right away like i don't like to leave this on and then like wash my face two hours later no because it's so oh, expensive yeah i use like my cheaper ones like while i'm watching tv or something and then i know i'm gonna be doing my skincare routine like three later. hours later yeah yeah this one you saying. feel weird if you rinse it off yeah you want to leave it on for some hours yes yeah, so all the goodness can work yeah, yeah i agree so i love these i love how they go on too they kind of remind me of the lancome uh, mask those genifique masks they're like a uh, like a gel kind of sheet but they literally like stick to your face like so well like i'm obsessed with how these go on as well but I love these. They're really good for toning, firming. This does have rose water in it. 
It also has hyaluronic acid in it. So apple, apple stem cell, whatever that's good for. I'm assuming it's some kind of um, renewal kind of ingredient. Because I know anything with apple, I've seen a lot of apple products that are good for like enzyme treatments. Really? Uh-huh. I don't know that much about apple. I have to do my research. A lot of fruits are really good for your skin. No, like yeah, tropical obviously. and obviously, you, you know, know, when you eat them because they yeah. have a lot of water in them. And then these next ones are from the brand Tatcha and they're very similar to those Lancer ones. These are their Luminous Deep Hydration Lifting Mask. It's different from their Dewy one, their Dewy Sheet Mask. This one is very hydrating, but it doesn't feel like super oily when you take it off. I haven't tried so, this So, I love these. Love these. So these, one. you'll see I already be on my stuff. I just want to try uh, one. But these, um, you leave it on for 15 minutes. I think those are 15 minutes also. The keys to sheet masks also, don't wait until they're completely dry. You want to take them off while they still have the moisture on them because when they're dry, like you're more prone to like fine lines like that. Um, so, shriveling up like a sponge. Like a raisin. Yeah, think about like a raisin when it's like sit, like sitting out in the sun or something. Like make sure you're still like adding a moisturizer on top of your sheet mask. Cause I heard it wasn't good just to do this and then just go. Don't yeah, if I do it like I don't just leave it, I'll do a facial spray after or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. So I like these cause they're really cooling too. So that's also really good for the summertime. Can't wait to start back using these. So this is more like a gel form like the Lancer one. So the next sheet mask I have is from the brand SK2 and I already have their Essence uh, sheet mask one, which I love because it's like the thick, like, uh, yeah, like a super thick fiber thick. mask. I like, like those cloth. better than the actual Essence. I'm obsessed with that I sheet mask. Why. I don't know, but it's so, so good. Yeah. Like you can just feel all the goodness going into your skin. Like the serum in it is so, so nice. Maybe but because their sheet mask is, like you said, thicker. Mm -hmm. So it's getting into the skin a little bit better. I don't know, but this is their Brightening Derm Revival Mask. And this is Clarifying Radiance and Moisture Boosting Mask. So I cannot wait to try this one. I probably should have originally tried this one because I feel like this would be something that I would initially gravitate towards a lot. This is a one mask sheet mask, so it's not two sided, two part. Um, you leave it on for five to 15 minutes. And I'm just a huge fan of sheet masks. And I love the that this one is a Korean brand because you know they're all about the sheet mask. So I can't wait to try this one. And I read that this one is specifically good for dark spots which I have. I have some stubborn ones that are slowly fading, but I need them to hurry it up because I'm so sick of looking at them. So I can't wait to try these. Me too. So we're almost done with skincare. I have a little bit more to mention. Um, I was supposed to mention this while I was talking about my hydration mask, but I overlooked it. This is from the brand Laneige and this is their sleeping care water sleeping mask for all skin types. So every time I tried to go get this before, it's always out of stock on Sephora. And I got lucky this time when the sale started because it was not out of stock. And I've been hearing a lot of good things about this mask. Ooh, I love the packaging. I'm obsessed with the way this smells and the gel look because I saw this inside Sephora the first time I saw this product. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try that. But every time I wanted to try it, it's out of stock. So this is like a gel sleeping mask. So I'm assuming it has hyaluronic acid in it. Probably. You probably um, just put it on over... Like yes. the last part of your skincare routine? Yeah, very last part. Or I heard these kind of masks are really good for... On the plane? For the plane. So if you travel a lot, I can't get the top off. Just trust me when I say it's a nice blue gel. Well, it has apricot in it and uh, evening primrose. Evening primrose is excellent for hydration. Really? Yeah, you can buy the little um, tablets like in the uh, supplement section. You can like take them, but this actually has it in the actual mask, which is interesting. Okay, I'm struggling right now. It's sealed in there like a can of tuna. Or well, at least you know it's fresh. So I can't wait to try this. Uh, I like to use these during like my facial days in the middle of the week. Or I, I like to sleep in these on the weekends. So I love these kind of masks. And it's gel form so I feel like it's not too heavy for my skin type. Can't wait to try this. And this next product that I got is included in skincare because... It's on your face. Um, anyway, this is from the brand Beauty Bio, and this is their Rose Quartz Roller. This is for face, eye, and body roller. I don't know that. Um, but I like these. I currently have a jade roller that I keep in the fridge or the freezer, and I uh, put on a face oil, and I will roll you know, it all over my face to get the oil nice and penetrated. I like to do it like maybe three times a week and I've been seeing a difference in my skin. Um, it's a lot more smooth, it's less texture, I break out less and I just love the way it feels. Like especially like when it's hot out, like when you take the jade roller out, out of the, the freezer, freezer, it feels amazing. Yeah, and it it's depuffing too. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get a new one. Because and it helps you get rid of your oils faster. Yes. Mm 
because uh -huh. I have a lot of face oils. Yeah. But I wanted to get a new one because the current one I have is broken. So I was like, this is the perfect time to try this one from Beauty Bio. So let me show y'all what it looks it's like. It's huge. It's way bigger than the one I have right now. I love the rose gold color. Super so pretty. So this is what like it looks all like. Packaging. So, so pretty. So this is the rose quartz one, which is basically in the roller part. I cannot wait to try it. And I like the clear handle and then like the rope. It's so pretty. I don't know. I'm a huge fan of packaging. Yeah, me too. And this Beauty one Bio has really excellent, heavy too. Has excellent packaging. I feel like a baby dumbbell. <laughs> um, so it's very sturdy. And it does come with a dust bag. Like, um, I'm assuming all like face rollers like this. So it comes with a little dust bag. So I cannot wait to start using this because I've been using my broken for a while now. And then the last two skincare items I have here are some lip care items. I'm a huge fan of lippies. Um, if y'all don't know, I have an obsession with lip care. Even before I started wearing makeup when I was like nine or 10, <laughs> I used to love lip smackers and Carmex. I, I always, I'm never without lip balm, chapstick, lip gloss, I got you. But these two I really want to try because this one um, just came out. This is new. This is from the Laneige brand and this is their Lip Glowy Balm. And they have a few new flavors. I wanted to try the grapefruit one. Um, surprisingly, I didn't get the peach one, which is my favorite fruit. But yeah, I was shocked you didn't get that one. I don't know, something about the grapefruit one that, you know, interests interest me more. So this is what the packaging looks like. I'm obsessed with the packaging of these. So I love like the cut, the tip of the little bottle. The tube is the same color as like the fruit flavor. Does that make sense? <laughs> I just love the detail in it. So um, Kelsey, I also got a berry one, but I gave it to Kelsey. Yeah, it's on my nightstand. Um, I've been using it at night. I really you like it. You love it. Is it's it like, thick? It's like a mix between thick and like not thick. It's mm. like a perfect balance of both. Nice. Because I do have their sleeping mask, which I finished like a couple of months ago. I did try their sleeping it's mask. It's nice, but I prefer the Agave lip mask yeah. over their sleeping mask. This brand has a good sleeping mask, but after you use Agave, you just compare everything to it. Yeah, that Agave is thick. So, oh, it smells nice and citrusy. This is making me thirsty. <laughs> so this is perfect for summer, like a nice fruity one, like daytime. So love this. And then this next one I got is also from the brand Amore Specific. I was really into that brand this haul. This is their Moisture Bound Lip Treatment. So I'm a huge fan of skincare brands. If they have a lip treatment, I will try it just because if they're, you know, specializing in skincare, then they probably do the lip products well too. This is kind of like the same kind of tube as the Laneige one, which I like. I was going to say, why does it look like it was made in the same yeah, factory? Definitely. Oh, but I think package. Laneige and Amore Pacific are sister companies. I think really? they're owned by the same people. Um, so this is a nice balmy texture as well. This doesn't really have a smell. I have a perfume, so it's a little odd to smell right now. <laughs> but I smell this grapefruit one, so this must have like a faint smell if I'm not smelling anything. Maybe that's why they came out with the Laneige ones. Yeah. This is like a very simple one. So this is probably good for nighttime or if you're not into like smell lip balms that like smell like fruit or vanilla this doesn't have a smell so this is they both feel really nice on my hand which means they're going to be very moisturizing on my lips okay so that's it for skincare now we're just going to move on to some makeup products that we got and the first product that i'm going to start out with is a primer this primer i've been seeing everywhere i saw jackie Anna talk about it in one of her videos and i was like i have to try that it's by the brand milk makeup and i don't really use a lot of their products i, I literally only like their kush mascara i don't really like their stuff that comes in the like tube and you have to like put it on your face i feel like it's kind of unsanitary but when jackie anna talks about something and raves about it you have to try it so i want to give this a try this is their hydro grip primer and she said it like helps your makeup like really stick to your face a lot better because it's kind of like more of a sticky primer mm -hmm. the packaging is a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be I love the color. which is always great when you get something and it comes bigger than you thought this is like so small exciting yeah because i hate when i'm like okay i thought this would be bigger but yeah this looks so so nice i already like pumped a little bit on my hand and it feels lightweight i thought it would be like thicker like looking at it but it's kind of watery in a way and then mm -hmm. when you rub it in it's kind of like silicone base it doesn't really have that much of a smell hmm. i love the color kind of um, like a serum yeah it's kind of like a gel jelly serum type consistency which is nice mm -hmm. so i'm super excited to try this and anything that says grip it's probably great for summertime 
And it says Hydro Grip, which is great so it won't dry your skin out. Because mm -hmm. people think just because it's summertime, you shouldn't hydrate as much. And I feel like you should probably hydrate more because your skin is probably going to be producing more oil. oil. At least mine does. It gets extra oil in the summertime. And I automatically think I should apply less moisturizer and that completely messes me up. So, so that's the only primer I got because I usually stick to my go-tos for primer because I'm a creature of habit when it comes to primers. Yeah. So I'll talk about concealer first because I didn't get any primers that I've been dying to try. These first two are from Cover FX and Too Faced. I'll mention the Cover FX one first because Kelsey has been talking my ear off about this concealer and probably talking y'all ear off about it so i was like let me get this concealer this yeah. is the cover fx power play concealer i decided to get the color deep three and so it's the neutral one that's what it looks like i love this packaging it's a uh, super compact so i'll probably travel with it this summer i can't wait to try it because kelsey has been raving about it her is very full coverage nice thin um she loves the packaging so like the dome applicator which looks yeah, really like nice. round at the tip very round mm -hmm. looks like a lot of color goes on so mm -hmm. you don't have to keep going in the you know tube to get yeah. anymore mm -hmm. which so, is really annoying i can't wait to try this and then the next concealer that i decided to get i saw um, i forgot her name i always try makeup products when i see like uh makeup like snippets on instagram sometimes and if i see a girl my skin tone using something i'm like I'm going to try that. <laughs> so this was one of those products. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is in the color Maple. When I first saw this on the side, I'm like, is that the foundation? No, it's the concealer. That's <laughs> the foundation. Because it's so it's big. big. The packaging is huge. This is a concealer. This is not the foundation. So I was like, this is going to last me an eternity. Yeah. So wow. it says super coverage. So that means it's full coverage. So I really can't wait to try it. I love a nice full coverage concealer. So this is what the packaging looks like. So I heard that this is really good for your face as well. So it says conceal, contour, highlight, retouch. So you can, you, this is a multi-purpose product. So I cannot wait to try it. So I'm sure they have dark colors that you can probably use to cream contour as well. But I only got this as a concealer. And this maple color looks like a really nice under eye shade. So it hmm. looks really nice. I have high hopes for this one. Um, I also got another one of my Cover FX concealers. I ran out of my G Deep 2 one, so I just got another one of those um, because I'm obsessed, as you guys know. And speaking of Cover FX, I finally got the foundation. I got the Cover FX Power Play foundation, and I got two colors. I got N100 and G100 just because I didn't know which one would be more my color, and then if like neither one of them matched perfectly, I could mix them. Um, the first thing I already noticed about these, they're plastic packaging, which I actually like because that's great for travel. That's true. Because I try to travel with the smallest amount of glass as possible because a lot of my makeup products tend to have glass in them. And I feel like foundation, uh, for foundation, having a plastic one to grab out of my collection is always great. Because I usually travel with my L'Oreal Infallible Matte because it's flat and it's plastic. Or I travel that's with true. my Makeup Forever matte velvet ones because it's flat and it's plastic but these are plastic and they're they come with more in them and the applicator not applicator but the dispenser is not a pump or anything but it's like a squeeze so you can squeeze it onto your hand and mix the colors so i'm excited to try these because if i like these as much as the concealers we're going to be in great shapes okay so i have four products from fenty beauty that i got one is a repurchase this is the fenty beauty foundation this is her pro filter soft matte foundation i needed another one for summer because it's a nice soft matte foundation and it's a very thin formula so yeah, it's, not it's very lightweight and mm -hmm. you know feels comfortable on the skin so i was like kendra you need another one because i was pumping for dear life out of my last one that i had to toss so this is one of my top favorite foundations so i had to get another one um i'm in the color 440 so i can't wait to start back using that because i was feeling a little you know having some withdrawals from that <laughs> and then the last three products two are bronzers and one is a highlight so kelsey made me want to try her bronzers and i saw when she first uh talked about them on her instagram so i was like i need to get these and gone so i got the colors mocha miami mocha mommy it looks like miami when you glance mocha mommy and coco naughty uh, I can't wait to try these because I'm a huge fan of matte bronzers and these are matte and the packaging is everything. This so is gorgeous pretty. copper. 
like rose gold. It's more copper. So this is the Mocha Mommy one. This is what this looks like. That one has a red undertone, which is probably nice for like warming up, warming the, face. up the face. Got it. So I can't wait. I want both, wanted both of them because I know they serve different purposes, but I can also mix them. And I was gonna say you can mix them. I use the uh, the Coco Naughty, but I kind of want to get that one too. In the Coco Naughty one, um, I probably just use this one to maybe define my face more. Let me see. No, that one is better for defining. This is lighter than that. So Coco Naughty is more for, for bronzing. bronzing. Yeah. And Mocha Mommy is good for contour. Yeah, probably for contour. So this is Coco Naughty. So it's lighter. Love that one. So you can use this to warm up the face. Mm -hmm. And then the Mocha Mommy one is good for contour. So that's what I'll do. Ooh, these look really nice. I love her packaging. She has the FB in there. Oh, just love the detail. And the very last product I got from Fenty Beauty is a highlighter, as if I need another highlighter. <laughs> I already have one from her uh, that I love. It's the rose gold one. It's the dual-sided ones. I forgot I the name that of one it. On today. I'm uh, obsessed with it. I love that one. Okay. This is her Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Penny For You Thoughts. But her names are just so clever. They're so Riri. Like, yeah. you can tell she made these up. Yeah. But I love the color because it looks like the perfect highlight for darker skin tone. Ooh. So it's like this nice, nice copper. I don't know if you guys can see this nice copper, like bronze undertone highlight. And it has like these really nice, like coppery, like glitters in it. In it, so I'm pretty sure you can't see the glitters on the skin. Mm -mm, Cause the uh, one I used today, I always forget has glitter in it, but you can't, can't really, really see, see it. it. So I'm excited face. to try this for summer because I like highlights that are in this kind of family in the summertime when um, you know you're on vacation and you're getting a little darker. Although we hardly wear makeup on vacation except nighttime for dinner. Yeah. So I don't see the point of wearing it. Probably the only beach. time I wear it. It's too hot to wear makeup on the beach. Way too hot. I also got a bronzer. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Kendra has been using this for a while. It's in the color Mahogany. And every time she uses it, I'm like, what bronzer are you wearing? And she's like, oh, Mahogany. Love and it. I finally got me one because I would use hers. Even though I don't know how I'm going to stop using my Coco Naughty by Fenty. But this one, why I really like this one, I tried Kendra, Kendra's is because I liked how powdery it was and how defined it made my cheeks look like I need any more contouring in my Yeah, you cheeks. don't. I, do. I really face don't. Is rounder than Kelsey. Yeah, I really don't contour as much because I like my it. mother blessed me with great cheekbones. Mm -hmm. But I really like this one and I just wanted to give it a try. Um, so, and it's buildable. So you can use it for bronzer or you can like, you know, build it up to a more defined kind of cheek. Got it. It seems good to like just go in without thinking because sometimes when one is too dark, you can't just go in with a brush and just no. slap it all over your face. This looks like a good one for that. Yes. Because my other ones are really dark, so I have to stay in the these areas of my face but this one looks like it'll be nice just to like warm up the whole you know face so i got one more makeup product to mention well actually two but it's the same thing different colors i got another foundation and this is by nars this is their natural radiant long wear foundation and i was a little reluctant to get this because mm -hmm. i like most of my foundations to say matte on them and the only reason i got the cover effects one was because i'm obsessed with the concealers but so many people have been talking about this NARS foundation, even people with oily skin. So I was like, let me give it a try. I got two colors. I got dark new colandonia. Who? <laughs> okay. We'll just stick with, I got dark two and dark three. Got it. So I want to see how I like this foundation. And anything that says natural radiant, I, I always want to try just because I hate, like I like thick foundations. I have a love-hate relationship with them because they last all day, but I feel like I want to take my makeup off. Um, so these are the two colors I got. This packaging is bomb. Probably can't travel Ooh, with nice these because of the It looks nice to sit like on your vanity. Hmm. So hey, me want to try those. I'm excited to try these. Has a nice Ooh, pump. pump. I was here for a good pump. So excited to try these. Okay, so the next two products I got are both lashes. It's the same lashes. And they're Lily Lashes, and she now has some of her lashes on Sephora. So this is the Lily Lashes for Sephora collection. So they better not be playing me and making these a little different. Because it says Miami, so I better begin Miami. <laughs> these are the Miamis. These are my favorite lashes from Lily Lashes. Because yeah, some of them so are a little pretty. extra for me. They are. But these are like perfect. They're similar to the Lava Lashes that I've been loving like the past year. That I love. They're the angelic ones that I'm wearing today. I have them and I on get too. a lot of compliments on those. Love um, these. I got a lot of compliments on the Miami ones every time I wore them. So, love these. 
Okay, so these last two makeup items I have are lip glosses and they're from the brand Pat McGraw. I heard good things about her brand. I heard a lot of good things about her eyeshadows, but those palettes were very expensive and I just didn't feel like buying expensive eyeshadow palettes this time. I felt like buying expensive skincare this time. So these are her Lux glosses, the Pat McGraw Labs Lux glosses. And I got the colors Flesh 4 and Flesh 6. So she has a lot. I kind of want to get more colors because I heard this formula is so glossy and smooth and like silky. So I can't wait to try That's these. Pretty. So the first one, this is Flesh 4. So this is more like a mauve tone with a hint of plum in there. Super they have pretty. a really nice smell. It kind of smells like the MAC plush glasses. They smell just like the MAC ones. Mm, kind of like sweet a little bit. Yeah, like a cupcake like a kind of look. smell. So this is what this one looks like. Ooh, and they have like an opaque um, color. Oh, so you don't have to put like a lipstick underneath. No, you can just do lip liner and just do this if you want. Itself. Ooh, that'd be so um, pretty. But I like to mix lip combos anyway, so I might still add like a lip, liquid lipstick in the middle. Um, but this formula though, it's like very buttery and nice. And then they both have a brown undertone to them, which I like. And this flesh six is darker. And this one is like more, uh, no, this is lighter. This, this is more peachy. This has a more peach undertone. Which so, is very you. Yes, right up my alley. I love like that terracotta, orange, brownie, peach kind of combo. That's what I go for. Kind of like Ginger from Kylie Cosmetics. That's like one of my favorite shades. That is pretty. This one is really pretty. Yes. So this, I'm excited about. This looks more for summer. And that one looks more for, for fall when it gets like September, mm -hmm. October. Yeah, I was thinking But this too. one looks, I can use it right now. Like what I got on right now. <laughs> so this is Flesh 6. Hmm. I'm excited about that. I want one. But I'm not a gloss so person, good. so I don't think anything of it. But those look like good glosses to have in my collection. I'm a gloss collector. Like, I have way too many. Okay, so next we're just going to move on to some body care. And then lastly, I have some hair products. So we're almost at the finish line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first body product that I got was a repurchase because I ran out. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower cream gel. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It smells absolutely amazing. I only use it on weekends because it's super expensive and I mostly only use drugstore body sure. washes throughout the week like my Dove. It's another brand I'm going to mention to y'all in April favorites. Stay tuned. But I only use drugstore for body washes so I feel like I don't want to spend that much on a body wash every month. So I only use this on the weekends and it lasts way longer that way. Mm -hmm. And it feels like more of a treat. So I got quite a few body care because I'm obsessed with body care. Um, yeah. I just love being moisturized and not ashy. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, no one should like being ashy. Yeah. So the first product I got is a repurchase. I had this a couple years ago and then I decided to repurchase it because it lasts so long. This is from the brand Philosophy and this is the Amazing Grace. That's the scent version of this lotion. This is the Firming Body Emulsion. So this is a body lotion. It's a firming body lotion. I'm a huge fan of this stuff. It smells like baby lotion. It has like a soft baby smell. So if you're not into like those super like loud fragrant smells of lotions, you would love this. Super soft, like clean baby smell. So I love this lotion. Good for day or nighttime. So I like to add like a body oil over top for night or you can just use it by itself in the daytime. And then this I haven't tried before, but I kept seeing a lot of good reviews. On Sephora, this is the Kate Somerville Sensitive Skin Dry Skin Saver for uh, say moisturizer for face, body, and lips. I only got it for my body. It's lips. Uh, like a lotion form, lips. Um, but I don't think I'll use this on my lips. That's weird putting lotion on your lips. Uh, it's very much a lotion consistency, so that's what it looks like. So I can't imagine using something like this on my lips. It's very, very lightweight, so it's not like greasy at all, and it does not have a smell. So I figured this was like a nice go-to travel moisturizer, you know, because it's like so compact. You can like toss it in a tote. Yeah, that's true. Or and sometimes you don't want to use like scents that are strong that will give somebody else a headache. Right. Even so, though sometimes you don't be caring about that. I'd be like, Kendra, uh, we're in an enclosed space. Well, I can smell myself. I think this will be a good, like nice all-around go-to product. Very simple. So it's not like super thick or not super thin. Just nice, simple product. This still moisturizing. Okay, so the next two products I got are both body oils, which I'm a huge fan of in any kind of season, but especially in the summertime because I don't typically like to use body creams as, 
as much as I do in the winter time just because they take forever to rub in and <laughs> I'll be feeling like doing all that. So I love body oils, especially the really thin ones that dry fast, like the dry body oils, love those. So this first one is from the brand Rim Clean Skin Care. This is their Atlantic Kelp and Microalgae Anti-Fatigue Toning Body Oil. So I was really excited about this one because it looked very lightweight and the review said it was really nice um, day or nighttime, but I got it for nighttime because I just love oils for nighttime. So it's in a, like this glass bottle. I would not recommend traveling with this, but it's like a nice thin kind of oil. So I can't wait to try this. And this next oil is one that Kelsey uses and she made me want to try it when I was in her bathroom one time and I sampled a little bit of it on my leg. <laughs> and this is the Clarence Body, well Contour Body Treatment Oil and it says 100% pure plant extracts and it's also extracts extracts <laughs> <laughs> sorry y'all it's the end of this video and we hungry we're too <laughs> we're hungry and parched i can't think straight when i'm hungry it's okay it says contouring and strengthening so it's good for elasticity yeah it's pretty bomb like i went through it kind of fast it's one of my favorite oils it's amazing and it says clarence effective serious treatments ensuring maximum results with the highest quality ingredients so I can't wait to try this. It smells like a spa. So if you're into like yes. a spa smell, you would like this. Very aromatherapeutic. So this is what it looks like. It's very watery. I love oils that do this. So that means it's not too thick. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's a yellow color. Kind of looks like pea. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> and then the last two, um, well one, but I got two of them body products that I got is the Way Hair Care Scalp and Body Body Scrub. I only use this. Well, Kendra got two too. I had to get two yes. because I went through the other one kind of fast that I got. Yes. Absolutely amazing. This is for your scalp and your body, but I still haven't tried this on my scalp. I only use this on my body. body. I might give it a try for yeah. my scalp just to see how it is, just to exfoliate my scalp. It's some. an amazing body scrub. But for though, the body, very it's moisturizing. Lit. Very moisturizing. You can feel the coconut oil in it as you're rubbing it in, so mm -hmm. it feels like you're moisturizing and exfoliating, exfoliating at the same time. Yes. And it smells like a dream come true. It's like, uh, it does have a perfumey scent. Yeah. It smells like this could have been a perfume. Definitely. I smell the rose. It smells kind of beachy too. A little beachy. A little, yeah. every, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Okay, so the very last product that I decided to get is a perfume. Wouldn't be a proper Sephora VIB haul without me getting a perfume. So this is a repurchase of something that I already had that I just finished. This is the Tory Burch Belle Azure. So this is my favorite perfume from the Tory Burch perfumes. I do like the orange one. The orange one, like the yeah, original one, nice. is really good. Mm -hmm. But this one is my favorite, and I always get compliments when I wear this one. So I decided to get this one again. So I finished the entire thing. I had the big bottle, and it's gone. So that's how much I love it. This one has a very fruity floral kind of mixture. So if you're into the fruity floral kind of scent, you will love it. So, so nice. It's like a go-to everyday smell. It's a very put-together smell. So... Love it. I'm obsessed with the packaging. I just keep it on like my little tray in my bathroom. So it's the perfect like spring and summer scent. My favorite. And yeah, you should try it if you like fruity floral smells. And then lastly, I got some hair products that I needed more of because I usually don't buy a whole lot of high-end hair care unless it's for my straight hair. As far as my curls, I stick to the drugstore. But when it comes to my straight hair, I love like high-end. But these are products that I love for my curly hair that are high end. So the first thing is something that I was obsessed with for quite some time and I just got another one. This is the Earth's Nectar Hair Care Nourish Conditioning Detangler Conditioning Treatment. So yeah, this stuff is lot. absolutely amazing. It looks like milk mm -hmm. and the bottle is A1. Like who don't want this for they leave in? This yeah. is so convenient because you know your hands get wet when you're doing your hair and this like gives you like a better grip when you're applying your um, detangler mm -hmm. um, in your hair. So this is such a good detangler and leave in. It makes your hair so much easier to maneuver through and it gives it a shine which I like as well. So this is just so good. Oh yeah, it's for all hair types. It yeah, strong. it says it's for... Yeah, it is for all hair types. It says for coily, curly, wavy, and straight. I haven't used this on my straight hair, but it's excellent for my curls, so love this stuff. So the next thing that I got is technically a first-time purchase, but I've already tried this in a PR package. This is by Weed Ed. This is their Ultra Nourishing Cleansing Oil. So this is basically a cleansing oil shampoo type situation. So this is their Curl Primers line, the yellow one. I just got the big bottle because I'm so obsessed with this, I actually used it um, to prep my hair before I did my hair in the Garnier video. 
and it's just so so nice it's great if you like to wash your hair more often but you don't want your hair to be stripped of its natural oils mm -hmm. because sometimes like i just want to give my like scalp a nice deep clean and clarifying because we use so much product and we have a lot of product build up but sometimes it's a nightmare trying to detangle your hair after you use those like mm -hmm. if you've ever tried to detangle your hair after using a clarifying shampoo it's a nightmare you try it. yeah just put a lot of conditioner in it because it'll help a lot but this I feel like sometimes when I use this, I don't even really need to use a conditioner. I just go right into deep conditioning. Mm -hmm. So when I use this, I don't use a regular conditioner. I just go right into deep conditioning and they work great together. So if you've been looking for like a cleansing oil type shampoo, because we love cleansing oils for our face, but I never thought to use one for my hair. This is a great option and it's amazing. And then the last few things I got are from Briogeo and it's from their Curl Charisma line. And the only thing I've tried from this line is the Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel. And this gel is so, so bomb. However, it does not give you three day hair. It gives you more like two day hair. But I love how my curls look every time I use this. They just look it's so soft and, defined. soft and defined, but still have a nice fluffiness to them. However, if you are going to like a vacation spot or like somewhere where it's super windy, humid, this ain't gonna last. But if it's like for like two days and you at home and you want like a nice soft curl that's still kind of defined, this is great for you. Cause it's actually a moisturizing gel too. It is. So it's very, very nice. Um, from that line, I also got their Rice Amino and Shea Curl Defining Conditioner, which I'm really excited to try. I actually used that with the gel the very first time I tried these. Really? So I used it as like the leave-in in there. How is this? It's really nice. Yeah, it comes in like just a regular squeeze mm -hmm. like this. Oh, it says you rinse it out, but y'all know I'm gonna leave it in. And then I also got their avocado leave-in defining cream, which is probably gonna be really good, really good to use with the gel. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use these together actually. Cause it might make the gel last like help it last longer uh -huh. instead of just two days. Cause when I used the gel, I used it just as my main styler. Uh -huh. So that's probably why my hair didn't last that long. But I loved how my hair looked. And the last thing I got from this line is their Chia and Flaxseed Coil Custard. Let me know if you guys want like a first impression so I can do that for you guys. So I'm really excited to try more things from this line because I really like the gel, which is what made me want to buy more things from this line. Yep, that's real geo. Love their smell. It's like a signature smell. <laughs> okay, guys, and that is it. Comment down below a, what kind of emoji should they comment for making it to the end? A diamond emoji. The diamond emoji. Okay. Random, comment okay. the diamond emoji if you've made it to the end of this video and we'll know you're a real one. We love yes. you guys so much who actually watched to the very end because we know some of our hauls can get kind of long-winded because we talk a lot and we love talking about products but you guys seem to like these kind of videos when we talk about products because y'all love our favorites videos too um, which we are going to be filming our april favorites very soon we hope you guys enjoy this haul and we'll see you guys in the next video